Show. Now, as you may remember a few months ago, we ended up reviewing the bootleg figures of Five Nights at Freddy's that came from Mexico. And these were crazy looking figures based on the sister location game. And we got four in all. Now, since these are bootleg figures, they didn't look exactly like they appeared in the game. But what was really cool about them was that they opened up into their jump scare poses. Oh, cool. Look at that. And the other cool thing is if you turn it around and push the button on the back, ooh, their chest lit up, which was another cool bonus. We also got a really cool Ender figure that opened up in his face too. Yeah, look at that, so cool. And he also lit up in the chest. Ooh, neato. We also got a figure of Funtime Freddy where his face opened up like so. And uh, look at this, even his chest opened up too. Ah, oh, sweet. Ooh, look at those lights go. And of course, the last figure we got was Funtime Foxy, which uh, his face opened up too. Cool, but not his chest. But what made him cool was the big tail that he had on his back. Just look at that big old tail <laughs> swivel. Yeah, so neat. And of course, he lit up too. Looks like a Christmas tree. So ever since we did our review of these crazy but cool figures, they ended up making two more to add to our collection. But the funny thing is, these new figures don't even make sense because the next one we get is Funtime Bonnie. <laughs> Funtime Bonnie? Wait a minute, there isn't even a Funtime Bonnie in the game. Funtime Bonnie! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. We've got a Funtime Freddy and a Funtime Foxy, but uh, now we got a Funtime Bonnie. <laughs> even though this character doesn't even exist in the game, it is still kind of cool. Instead of using pink colors like Funtime Freddy and Foxy here, we get blue colors. Who need? And they probably went with the blue color scheme because Bonnie was originally purple, or maybe it's because Toy Bonnie was blue and they wanted to stick to the same colors. Yep, kind of the same color scheme, but uh, only in reverse. Well, whatever the case may be, we got a blue Funtime Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny to say. But look at that. We've got a speaker box in his chest, just like the other ones do. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But just look at all the moving parts on this guy. His mouth opens up, his uh, ears wiggle, cool. His arms wiggle, even his hands. And uh, not his feet though. So yep, don't expect him to dance or anything. <laughs> and if you're wondering if his face opens up, you better believe it. Because Funtime Bonnie can also become Jump Scare Funtime Bonnie. <laughs> And of course, even though these are bootlegs, that's one of their best features, is that their face opens up into their jump scare poses. And that's something that the Funko figures just doesn't do. Yep, it would have been super cool if the Funko faces opened up too. But of course, that's not all the tricks that Funtime Bonnie does, because if you turn off the lights, this Funtime Bonnie lights up. Ha <laughs> ha, so cool. Look at that light up. And of course, if you press the button in his back a second time, we get different lighting patterns. That's the second one. And that's the third one. Ugh, super cool. All right, now that we have a Funtime Foxy, Funtime Freddy, and a Funtime Bonnie, that only leaves one left, Funtime Chica. <laughs> Funtime Chica. That's another character that doesn't even exist in the game. <laughs> oh man, that is super hilarious. We got a Funtime Chica and a Funtime Bonnie. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to make a Funtime Chica. <laughs> And of course, this Funtime Chica is based off the regular Chica, but only, uh, Funtimeized. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Instead of going with the blue color scheme like with Bonnie here, they went with the uh, pink color scheme like we see with Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy. Yeah, <laughs> just look at that. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they made a Funtime Chica. I guess if they did make a Funtime Chica, this would pretty much look like it. We've got the Let's Party bib, we've got the speaker box in the chest, and, uh, <laughs> Look at the blue hair. Ooh, and it moves too? Oh, bonus. Yeah. And we got the rosy cheeks over here. We got the lipstick that she has. Neat. Oh, and just look at those beady little eyes. Yeah. And you know it's coming because we also have the jump scare pose of fun time. Chica. Oh, and just look at that pose. Well, that's pretty cool and scary looking. And I think out of all the jump scare poses, yep, Chica's is the scariest. <laughs> and of course, just like with the other figures, if you turn out the lights, and press on her back, and presto, we have our light show. And it's shining through that bib that says, let's party, ha <laughs> good idea. Unfortunately, the light's kind of dim because it's trying to shine through all that paint on Chica's chest. But oh well, it's still a little bright. And of course, if you press the back again, ooh, we can change the lighting pattern. I used to think these old sister location figures were funny, 
But that's nothing compared to these two guys, because they take the cake. <laughs> because they make characters that don't even exist in the game. <laughs> well, at least we know what a fun time Chica would look like, as well as a fun time body. <laughs> and of course, if we put these guys all together, we're able to complete our fun time collection. Well, there they are, the fun time bootleg figures. <laughs> Lego Puppet Steve and Lego Zombie Steve are here! And you can buy both of these by clicking the link in the description, where you can also find Puppet Steve Fidget Spinners! Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and be sure to check out all our other videos, because they're awesome!